What is up, baby? So it is Friday and uh, I kind of feel pretty good right now. I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of good. Set aside from my back being all jacked up, which uh, kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. That blows a little. It just uh, a little bit blows, but this is gonna be a, my first time video. And uh, I kind of feel like Rocky Balboa right now because it is freaking Friday. You know what? I've seen this uh, Mr. Rocky Balboa do some shit before. He has done some shit that you wouldn't believe. And one is, he eats a raw freaking egg right in the beginning. Yeah. I think I did it wrong. I think I was supposed to crack it open in my mouth. Oh. First time going to a gay club. All right, so <laughs> it was my first time going to a gay club. It was the very, very first day that Yingling, the beer, got introduced to Ohio, um, which was, uh, what, four or five? So I, don't, I don't know how many years ago it was, but it was too long ago. It was within, and it, it, it doesn't fucking matter. Also, not to mention that me and my buddy were also drinking a little bit of shine, some other stuff before we even got to this gay club. Which was Utopia, or Uto I, don't, I forget exactly what the name was, but um, yeah, we went there. Now, who all went there? <laughs> it was me, Albert, Mathit, and at the time, Mathit's girlfriend and her gay friend. So, out of all of us, there was only actually one person that was gay. So, pretty much, you have three straight dudes, a girl, and a gay guy. It kind of sounds like a Fucking joke waiting to happen. So I gotta put this little baby in. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that because I'm still waking up. That's what uh, that's what happens with third shift, man. You're, you're always kind of tired. You're never really awake, which is all good because uh, I enjoy working. So I ain't no bitch. <laughs> Open, oh, you dirty girl, you. Yeah. Ah. Due to the video that I'm talking about, I guess I should pack it more like this. Should this be like the other way to leave the suspense of what the fuck it is? Maybe it is a cock, maybe it's not, maybe it's just some fucking dip? <laughs> Dear Lord, I apologize for that one. Please forgive me. I need to wake my bitch ass up. I got a lot of shit to do. Right, so here's the case. Before, before the night even started, it was suggested about going to this club. At the time, me and Albert, the guys that are usually in my videos, we didn't know like what kind of club it was specifically yet. We had an idea, but we didn't know. We ended up deciding to go into a gay club. We knew it was a gay club. I actually had to talk Albert into it a little bit. Like, hey, you know, we should just fucking go. Screw it. And he, he, he wasn't really having it for a minute. And uh, eventually, obviously, he broke. We got kind of liquored up before we even go. <laughs> we haven't gone to this place. It's actually pretty freaking big. It is a pretty good size uh, club or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, we're, me and I were pretty much drunk. So Matt is kind of doing his own thing. You know, he's got his girl there. Then uh, his girlfriend, or I'm sorry, his girl's, his girlfriend's friend. Um, the only gay one of the group. We have going in and everything, and uh, they I guess they used to go to this place all the time just because you didn't have people fucking with you. We go to regular clubs, trust me, I like going to regular clubs every now and then, not now. I mean, I don't give a shit about that shit now. A couple of times I went to the club, you know, this club was not bad because you don't gotta watch over your back. That, that's pretty much what well, maybe you do it to different reasons. For regular clubs, you know, you always gotta kind of watch your back. Just because of there's gonna be that one damn asshole every time. There's something wrong with my face, apparently. Like it's like that scene from Step Brothers about you know changing my face. That's what I feel like, dude. Anytime I go out somewhere, it's like someone's gotta try to fuck with me, and I won't do shit. Just sitting there at the bar, mind my own damn business. Someone's gotta start some shit, some shit that they wouldn't fucking believe. In this place, they're they got all these signs of uh, Yingling and everything. Like I said, Yingling is actually America's oldest brewery. That was uh, that's actually made in Pottsville. I think it's Pottsville, um, Pennsylvania. Literally right fucking next door. And <laughs> you know how I just got introduced to it. 
and it's the oldest brewery. But when you walk in, you walk down this like almost like narrow, it's not narrow, but it's just like long hallway. But on the left side, there's like rails. You can see a big ass bar area with a bunch of tables. Like it's like a whole bar section, almost like a full size restaurant. We're at the left side. Keep walking in, you got the dance floor. First thing I notice, now, keep in mind, me and Albert are kind of hopped up on Sean. First thing I noticed was three stripper poles. Maybe there was two. I don't know, there, I thought, I don't, regardless. There were fucking stripper poles, man. With the boxes, they stand up on, you're elevated, and fucking stripper poles. Stripper! You probably see where this is going. It looked fun to me. All right, that shit looks really fun. But I held off for a little bit. I was like, you know what? Let me go pee pee. I want to go tinkle. I was like, Albert, Maffet, maybe you guys should go with me. And with everything I'm saying here, it's going to sound like I'm a homophobe, and that's not the case. So we get to this bathroom, and they had the low, um, uh, what were they called? Uh, they were the low rise hanging ceilings. Those are the ones with the tiles that can just get pushed up. Well, they had those, and it was low. <laughs> First thing I did, I have no reaction, or no hesitation, I mean. As soon as I walked in, I'm like, oh shit. And I Super Mario Man punched that shit. You know, it's a me, a Mario. Wing. Yeah, I punched a freaking hole right through the fucking, <laughs> right through the freaking tile. It just like, boom, it was funny. So when we get back on the dance floor, I noticed that there's a side room that's off of the floor. So now it's like a third room. I was like, all right, I was like, what the hell is in here? Walked in, I think there was a pool table, I believe, but it wasn't the pool table that caught my attention. It was the big ass rocking horse. I mean, this thing was a huge, big freaking donkey. Man donkey, just sitting there waiting to be rode. What I mean is a rocking horse. I literally mean this fucking thing was a rocking horse that was bigger than I was. It was a full size freaking horse. A full size rep replica of a horse that had little rockers on it. But I can't really remember if I tried getting on it or not. I I'm sure I probably did. Uh, we come back and people start come up or starting to come in. And, uh, you know, me and I were just kind of, we were starting to get sober. <laughs> this is like at the pivotal moment where you're starting to get sober, but you're still kind of feeling that really good buzz. So I was like, Let's get another beer. Got another beer, drank that down. And now more people coming up. People are dancing and all this other stuff. So I'm like, I want to get on the stripper pole. I'm going to make that stripper pole. My bitch. So I had a gay club, hopped up on Shine and Yingling. I decided to jump up on that little box thing. And I fucking spun around that motherfucking stripping pole. And I was the shit. It was all fun and games until the very next stripper pool right next to me. And I'll never forget it. This guy walking up saying, oh, you think you got this bitch? That's where it's <laughs> oh, dude. I'm not trying to have a dance off with you, dude. <laughs> I, got, I got to give it to him. This dude was good. He'd been up on that pool before. <laughs> But he's been on many pulls. <laughs> the knee slapper. Here's the knee. See it right there? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a slap you. He was good. <laughs> he spun around. At the, he, 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 I was like, oh my gosh. And that was the point where I started getting sober real fucking quick. I started realizing my surroundings. Albert started realizing his surroundings. Matt Fitz dancing with his girl. And then you got the guy just dancing by himself. And uh, me and him, me and I were just kind of sitting at the table like, all right, well, I think it's uh, about time to go. <laughs> so we sit there about sober for an hour and a half. We eventually decided to leave. So that was sign of that place. But thank you for watching. Also, too, I'm at uh, 63 of you sexy people, awesome people that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you. So they say that first hundred is the hardest hundred subscribers you'll get. It's the hardest point. It's pretty much, it's a stepping stone. So you say that hundred, it's it's that first stepping stone that you can get to. So I'm hoping to try to hit by this uh, by July, end of July. So if not July, I'm definitely 
I'm for sure it'll hit the 100 mark by next month in August. But thank you guys for subscribing. Please like. Please keep subscribing. Feel free to comment. And uh, we'll see y'all sexy sons bitches around later.